Well, we now have a better picture of the extent of the damage that the storms brought earlier this week, which caused some pretty significant damages, especially in Schuyler County. WNY's Connor Freidhoff caught up with the National Weather Service today during a post storm survey in Montour Falls. Connor. Nick, today the National Weather Service from Binghamton confirmed that the damage in Montour Falls was caused by a microburst with winds topping out at 90 miles per hour. However, it's not the first or last bout of severe weather that the region is going to see this summer. 90 miles per hour. That was the confirmed top speed of a microburst that uprooted several trees and completely toppled this Department of Public Works building just outside of Montour Falls on Monday. Now, a single wall is all that remains standing. There were tremendous winds that ripped through here. Uh, it's what we call a microburst or a downburst. Um, and so if you picture it like a water balloon hitting the ground and then splatting out from there, and then all the damage kind of diver diverging from the middle. Several homes have been significantly damaged within the Rock Cabin trailer park as a result of the microburst. Surveying meteorologists were able to determine the wind speed and designate the damage as microburst related thanks to the patterns of the wind damage. When you see damage collecting towards the middle of a path, that, that, would be in, that would be more of a tornado, whereas for this, it was more spreading out from a common point. And that's, that, that's what you get with uh, microbursts or downburst winds. A day filled with high winds and dangerous severe weather across the Empire State spawned a high-end EF2 tornado in Rome, with winds estimated at 135 miles per hour. But the damage shows that all severe weather warnings should be taken seriously not just for tornadoes. This right here is a perfect example of why severe thunderstorm warnings need to be taken as seriously as a tornado warning. Tornado warning, you get a small little path tornado, connect the dots, this tree, that house, that house. Straight line winds can be just as strong, but with a widespread footprint. Uh, so you need to really pay attention. When you have a severe thunderstorm warning, take shelter. And NWS Binghamton is continuing its surveys in areas with wind and tornado damage. They plan on releasing a public information statement later this evening on damage in Canastota that is consistent with a tornado. Nick.